we are talking about four truth functional connectives and these are very very simple we have and or if then and if and only if so it's a very very interesting lecture to go ahead with now when i say preposition what is a preposition it is raining it is cloudy so all these are the statements that i am trying to do now when i am trying to connect two of these statements there could be various ways under which i can do it when i am connecting it with and it is called as conjunction and a good example would be it is rainy and cloudy so both the statements should be true so both the prepositions that i am trying to take here it is rainy it is cloudy are true and when both of them are true it is rainy and cloudy would be true so that is what is conjunction the independent sections are known as conjuncts so it is rainy is one conjunct it is cloudy is another conjunct similarly when i am talking about disjunction i am talking about or it is rainy or it is cloudy in this scenario at least one of the prepositions must be true so here both the prepositions must be true and here at least one preposition must be true coming on to conditional is if then now conditional statements we have covered in detail in another section where we have talked about the converse inverse the contrapositive and so on the conditional statement is a if then statement so if one of the prepositions is true then can be other so that is a if then we'll understand each of these with an example in a moment and by conditional means if and only if okay so even if i invert the position of the subject and the predicate in the statement it would remain the same and it would have the same meaning as simple as that now this is what is known as if and only if again there is another interesting truth functional which is known as negation now negation is simply a false of a statement so when i say it is cloudy and i say it is not cloudy it is not cloudy is a negation of the first statement so primarily we focus on the four truth functionals that are there those are conjunction disjunction conditional and biconditional now a simple preposition i repeat again a simple preposition would have just two prepositions that is it is rainy and cloudy so this is a simple preposition i repeat again it is rainy and cloudy now this is a simple preposition a and b two things two two prepositions that are taken into account a compound preposition can also exist let me jot down an example for that so if roses are red and violets are blue then roses aren't red so if roses are red is one of the prepositions is if violets are blue that is second preposition then roses aren't red so this is third preposition so i am using more than two prepositions here and therefore it is as simple as that a compound uh, preposition that is there so with truth functionals we can have various kind of prepositions that could be taken into account now this is a complete table to help you memorize the four major truth functional connectives that we would be focusing on today so as we said the first one is and now and is a interesting connective because as we said it it can be true only and only when both the prepositions are true so it is called as conjunction it is symbolized by a dot as you can see in the bracket the symbol is dot and then the independent components are known as conjuncts clear so again i repeat it is cloudy and it is rainy so it is cloudy is correct it is rainy is true both of them are true and therefore it is cloudy and rainy is true the next is or it is denoted by a v sign okay so this is known as disjunction and the individual components are known as disjuncts this means either 
of one or at least one should be true so when i say it is sunny or it is rainy that means at least one of the proposition should be true and then you can have or a statement that could be true if i say if it is sunny is true then i can say if it is sunny or rainy is a true statement because even if it is rainy is false still it is sunny is true so it is sunny or rainy becomes true clear the next is if then now if then is denoted by a sign that is that we have mentioned here and the idea here is this is a material implication i repeat again it is also known as material implication it is a conditional statement because if there is a smoke then there is fire now this is a example that we have already covered in our class on hetu so if you want to know more about the prepositions of vyapti you can go into detail on the class on hetu which is part of the indian logic section now i repeat again if there is a smoke there is fire in this there is a weak relation that exists but it is an if then relation but if i want to say a vice versa statement if there is fire there is a smoke i can prove it false in the case of an iron ball on an iron ball you would see a fire but there is no smoke so rather than putting it in that way my if then proposition would be if there is a smoke there is fire in any of the scenario if i see smoke that means there is fire so that is a kind of if then conditional statement now in a conditional statement anything that is written after if is known as antecedent and anything which is written after then is known as consequent so if there is a smoke then there is fire so there is a smoke is a antecedent and there is fire is a consequent so i can just mention in bracket this is consequent and this is the antecedent the next interesting one is if and only if this is also shown by a triple bar or a double sided arrow and it is a biconditional statement where you have the individual components now interesting part here is i take an example with in which i say i will go to watch the championship if and only if i get a ticket so that means that's the only condition under which i would watch the championship so if both of them are true in that case my if and only if statement would be true again interestingly if both of them are false then again it is true let me speak it again so if i will not go to watch the championship if and if and uh, if and only if i do not have a ticket so that is again a correct statement so if i make this statement both of them the both of the components the first component of the statement before if and only if and the second component is after if and only if so the first is i will go to watch the championship and the second is i have the ticket if both of them are true then it is true if both of them are false then also it is true because when i say i will not go to watch the championship if and only if i do not have a ticket that means i will watch only when i have a ticket so that makes sense now this if and only if is also known as material equivalence very very important to remember if and then is known as material implication however the if and only if is known as material equivalence because there is equivalence now equivalence in the sense i can make the subject and predicate turn both ways now like i can say if i get the ticket uh, i I, uh, i get the ticket and if and only if i uh will go for a championship or i will go to watch a championship that means i'm trying to inverse those two statements and still the meaning remains the same okay so the content or the composition remains the same the truth value that it holds remain the same so that is where we understand the four fundamental truth functional connectives i repeat again these are and or if then 
if and only if which is a biconditional and that is true only when both the components are true or when both the components are false so that was about the truth functional connectives in logic we would be covering many further interesting lectures in logic so stay tuned for many simple examples and many interesting sessions in logic